This effect adds subtle noise to the image, reminiscent of traditional film grain, enhancing the cinematic feel of our scene. adding a kangaroo board sign to the road. This sign, downloaded from the marketplace, adds a touch of realism and character to our scene. Next, I'll drag another mesh from the Rural Australia pack and position it at the edge of the road. This additional detail helps to further populate our environment and make it feel lived in. Finally, I'll finalize the position of the mesh, making sure it blends seamlessly with the surroundings and enhances the overall composition of our scene. Select the foliage tool and add three different variations of fallen leaves to it. These variations will add natural detail and texture to our environment. Next, I'll access the attributes of the foliage tool and update the minimum and maximum scale size for the fallen leaves. This allows us to control the size variation of the leaves for a more realistic look. Before we begin painting, I'll adjust the brush paint size to ensure that it's suitable for the scale of our scene. This ensures precise placement of the fallen leaves along the edges of the road. Now that everything is set up, I'll start painting the fallen leaves along both edges of the road.
I'll pay close attention to detail and spacing to create a natural and visually appealing arrangement. I'll drag a few small branches into the foliage tool. These branches will add another layer of detail to our environment. I'll adjust the minimum and maximum size of the branches, as well as the brush tool size for painting. This ensures that the branches vary in size and are painted with the appropriate brush size. Now, I'll start painting the small branches onto the road. I'll pay attention to natural placement and spacing, creating a realistic and visually appealing distribution of branches. Drag grass meshes into the foliage tool. These grasses will add lushness and texture to the edge of the road. Now, let's prepare to paint with them. Next, I'll adjust the minimum and maximum size of the grass and prepare the brush tool size for painting. This ensures that the grass varies in size and is painted with the appropriate brush size. Now, I'll start painting the grass across the edge of the road. I'll ensure a natural distribution and coverage creating a verdant and inviting roadside environment. Similarly, I'll add small rocks to the scene by dragging stone meshes into the foliage tool. I'll adjust their size parameters to create variation and realism.
In this step, we'll create a cinematic sequence for our scene. To start, I'll create a new level sequence and specify the saving path and name for our cinematic sequence. This will ensure that our sequence is properly saved and organized. Next, I'll add my camera to the camera sequence by using a track and adding an actor sequence. This allows me to include my camera in the sequence, ensuring that it captures the desired shots. I'll now adjust the frame rate from 30 to 24 frames per second to achieve a cinematic feel. This lower frame rate provides a smoother and more cinematic motion to our sequence. I'll remove the excessive branches and leaves from the center of the scene. This will help improve the composition and focus the viewer's attention on key elements.